Hello my fellow readers, today I'm going to be talking about The Two Lions and I'm very excited for this one. This is another uh, story by Nagisa Furuya um, who wrote, I'm trying to remember what the first one was, My Summer With You, because there's My Summer With You I think and then The Summer Of You, whatever, it's a duology and I'm waiting for the second volume. Um, but there's always the uh, the wholesome quality <laughs> to the manga stories and just some of my favorite art and stories and so I was really excited to see the two lions get released here. Uh, the two lions tells the story of um, Junpei really is kind of the the protagonist here so Junpei has gone to college and is adjusting to his college life runs into this guy that seems a little little uh, surly, but also somewhat familiar. Um, and it triggers this memory in Junpei. And he remembers that this guy, uh, Leo, was perceived as this really violent, um, not really gangster, but definitely like violent character uh, in the past. And he used to have like bleach hair and um was perceived as being really aggressive and violent and that he'd he'd, he'd beat you up if you looked at him uh, crosswise um so junpei's kind of intrigued by the fact that it, it seems like leo is not presenting himself that way in this world and actually i think he like leo leaves junpei like a bottle of water tells him like he can keep it and i think that triggers the the initial like interest in who leo is um and then the rest of the book kind of just follows this process of junpei uh trying to approach leo and get him to talk to him leo however is resistant to talking to junpei because as it turns out he is trying to leave that past and how he was perceived behind him and start over in college and try to be um I guess approachable, try try to make friends and have a normal life, a restart in college. And so when he sees Junpei that he recognized from high school, he's upset. Like he, he doesn't want this person from his past to kind of reveal who he is. And so he keeps running away from Junpei. <laughs> But over time, Junpei keeps approaching him and the two develop a friendship and um, the truth comes out about what happened with Leo and the fact that he was not really a violent person and how he got that perception is he saved someone. Potential spoilers there, sorry, you get to skip. Um, but since there was a fight in order to protect the other person, he's like seen as this bad guy. Um, but he's really not. He's a, a nice, just quiet kind of guy. Um, but now that he's been alone for so long, he has trouble making friends um, because he doesn't really know how to relate to people. Um, and he's so used to having people misperceive him. So he's just like, I... Um, I don't want to try in a way. So Junpei sets out to help Leo broaden his horizons <laughs> and make more friends. However, uh, as the two become closer, Junpei develops feelings for Leo uh, and doesn't know how to deal with it. Like he realizes that he's getting kind of jealous of um, potential friends um, you know, seeing Leo smile or uh, getting friendly with him, them spending time with him instead of uh, Junpei. Um, and so then it's a question of, okay, are my feelings pure and of friendship or am I developing deeper feelings for Leo? And if I am, what do I do with them? Um, should I distance myself from him? Um, so that he's not troubled by it and yeah so that it, you know it's kind of traditional it's a it's a typical bl story in that sense um but again uh, the author is brilliant at portraying these really wholesome development of feelings and then how to deal with that relationships and so 
this this is just another winner for me um, yes I would love the other work of Nagisa Furuya to be um, translated and released in English because they're just so wholesome and heartwarming and I love them so much and the art is really um, like soft and gentle and and kind of pretty um, <laughs> and sometimes the characters are like I don't know regular like I'm thinking um, Junpei like he's not unattractive but sometimes his faces are funny I don't can you see the artwork there uh, I just like it I'm still waiting for the second volume of uh, summer with you or whatever <laughs> I'm waiting for the second volume of the summer one. I think it might have gotten delayed and maybe pushed back to either the end of February or March. As I'm filming this, it's still mid-February. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm waiting for it. Um, but I wouldn't mind other ones. I think it's N and S that I'd like to see. And then there's a couple other scattered ones. Um, but what you gonna do anyway it, this is one volume and done so if you're looking for a good bl recommendation especially one that is more wholesome and heartwarming nothing you know really graphic or anything this is more more wholesome um check out the two lions uh, and i should say it's called the two lions because i can't remember if if, is, it, is it is it is it is it is it his last name or his first name anyway it's called the two lions because both of their names mean lion um so <laughs> big shock there uh so that's why it has that name and it's very cute and yes highly recommend uh check this one out there you go <laughs> that's it for this video until next time bye